What's up everybody, it's your boy Boomstick McFlamejob here, and welcome to part 18 of my Detroit Become Human walkthrough series. Now where we last left off, Marcus went to um, Central Park or Central Plaza or whatever, and he gathered a group of androids in a peaceful protest, and um, we started to gain sympath to gain the public to gain the public's uh, sympathy and support, and, um, uh, um, yeah, that was a pretty good episode, and, uh, we sent a message of peace, and, um, I'm really happy just to be finishing this, to be continuing this series. Now, um, without further ado, let's continue the series, and we'll see where the story takes us. Yeah, this story is really getting good. Whoa. Does someone actually live there? Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Chris was on patrol last night. He was attacked by a bunch of deviants. He said he was saved by Marcus himself. Is Chris okay? Yeah, he's in shock, but he's alive. Cyberlife ten years ago. Why did you want to meet him? This guy created the first android to pass the Turing test, and he's the founder of Cyberlife. Wait, what? Anybody can tell us about deviants. It's him. So the guy that we're gonna meet right now is the founder of Cyberlife and creator of its androids. Wow. I think we're gonna be meeting Android Jesus in a second. Hi. Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. <coughs> okay. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. Hmm. Wait for the android. Okay, then. It's been a while since I played a Connor mission. I was going to record this video yesterday, but I was uh, kind of occupied with other stuff nice place well there we go let's sit down haven't been a bad thing for everybody you're about to meet your maker Connor how's it feel um impatient yeah impatient Kapsky is one of the great geniuses of the 21st century it'll be interesting to meet him in person Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Hmm. Really nice place. Even though it 
looks like the North Pole outside. Glad you will see you now. Oh, excellent. I wonder what he looks like. Mr. Kamsky? Just a moment, please. Oh, he's right over there. Okay. Hmm. So, you're Android Jesus Christ, are ya? Hmm. I thought he'd be taller. And he has two androids in the pool with him? I mean... And Connor's still flipping that coin over there. Wow. Uh, is he wearing a Speedo? Yep, he's wearing a Speedo. <sighs> I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Yes, they are. Beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Oh, really? Education was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Hmm, that could be true. Isn't that ironic? Uh, help. We need to understand how androids become deviants. Hmm. Do you know anything that could help us? All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? Um... Direct. I'm on the human side, of course. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. Oh, am I? Uh, troubled. What I want is not important. Chloe? Connor's story sure can go Chloe two tried. ways right now. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, we'll see. Oh. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by Cyberlife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. What is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? I think we're a living being. With a soul. Please tell me you don't have a gun. No, no. Oh, no. It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Is that a Glock? If you feel it's alive. Yeah, I think that's a Glock. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this android? Decide who you are. Um, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Our living being endowed with free will. 
That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. Uh... Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Last chance to save humanity. Is it self a deviant? I'm. I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. <sighs> Jesus Christ. That was close. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Choose my you side? People or stand up against your creators. What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. Two evils. So I might need to make Carnage's side way, soon. Wait. I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. Emergency exit? You never know. So, hmm, emergency exit. I wonder what that means. Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Well, maybe you did the right thing. Oh. I think he appreciates that. I didn't shoot her. Okay, that was a very eventful episode. I think from this point forward, I will use my moral compass while playing this game, and I will see where my moral compass... Um leads the story and um if you guys appreciate me doing that so i think we have time for one more mission in this video now yeah i think we have time for like one more mission in this video and then we'll end it yeah hey, we're marcus again Hey, what's that over there? Hmm. Uh, let's put it back. <clears throat> hey, a piano. Let's play it. I wonder if I remember how to... Oh yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember. That is the exact same song that we played at... Carl Manfred's house in the in one of the previous episodes. If you don't remember which episode it is, I am pretty sure it was um episode four. Yeah, episode four. But I didn't use a face cam in the in that video. Because I didn't have a face cam at that time. Hey North, what's up? I was wondering where you were. I like to th come up here to think. I, to think. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. <laughs> we freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. 
Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. Uh, followers. They all obey me. They follow me without question. And that much power feels good. And scary at the same time. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. But we get but we gain their support. We gain their sympathy. The humans hate us. No, we gain their support. We gain their sympathy. I mean it's not enough? Their sympathy and support? No, not all humans it's not say. enough? Some of them understand that they can't stop us from becoming free forever. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? I think I need to tell her. Yeah. I think I'll tell her. Uh, the truth. I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. Yes. You showed me that humans and androids can live together. I loved him. Uh, what about North's past? What about you? you never oh, she became my companion. I don't want to talk about it. Come on, you can trust me. Uh, other North. Other North. That android you were looking at in the store. She reminded you of who you were, didn't she? Yeah, she did. Uh, trust. North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. I was nothing. The Path unlocked. To satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. Oh, no. Was she one of the androids at the Eden Club? One day I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. So she killed her client and ran away. I shouldn't have told you. Uh, connect. is his lover now when they left you for dead in his studio i saw your memories too the eden club the death of that man i felt like i was there with you she's scared north I am really having difficulty which side I want to root for right now. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus. It's not too late to change your mind. Oh. We're finally going to show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's a risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus. So I need to choose my actions very carefully. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. Uh, rally your followers. Just looking around, see if there are any androids in the- Oh, there, there's one right there. The more we are, the stronger our message. Okay, welcome to our cause. You're free. Man, 
and you are welcome to our cause. Oh, there's one over there. And welcome to our cause. <laughs> he just drop. She just drops that guy's crap and leaves. <laughs> That's funny. And you. Oh, there's an android over there, and another one over there. Uh... You're free now. So basically what I'm doing every time I touch them like that, I'm literally You're just giving them Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, get off of him! Hey, get off him! So basically, whenever my hand goes white and I touch him on the shoulder or something, I'm basically just giving him free will. And whenever, um... And, um, earlier when, um, you saw Marcus and North touching hands like that, it's basically them sharing each- sharing each other's memories. Yeah, it's basically two androids sharing each other's memories. I wonder how many androids I, I wonder how many androids I I uh, got in my army. I think I yeah 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 seven androids so far seven, and the rest of them are hiding in a manhole. Now let's help them up. <gasps> <laughs> Convert more androids. That should be. Hey, look! There's another Kara. It's not the. It's not the same one from the. Well, it it has the same appearance, but um, it's like, yeah, it's just like another Kara, and um, yeah, uh, y you know what? Let's just convert more androids. I don't want to confuse you. March. Now let's convert more androids. And you. And you. Over there. And you. And you. And you. 63 androids in the in my ranks. There is a lot of us. Oh, so now I'm Jericho's leader. Which path do you think I should make Connor follow? Do you think I should turn him into a deviant or do you think I should I should or do you think should I make Connor remain a machine or something? Like I said, I'll use my moral compass for the rest of the series to see where that gets us. No. That's an order. No. Um, raise hands. Jesus Christ. Come on, we're unarmed. Jeez. Jesus fucking Christ. This bet is Okay, and now I think we need to start our chant or something. I don't know. Hundreds. 
Uh, equal rights. Set our set us free. Two hundred and twenty-seven androids. Freedom, freedom, freedom. Freedom, freedom, freedom. We, um, we are people. We are alive. Oh, shit. That is bad. That is not good. That is not good at all. Okay. We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. Are you going to open fire on unarmed protesters? We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. Wait. If there's more of us, we can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying here. This is your last chance. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed! Uh, stand ground. We have to show them we won't back down. We stay right here. Uh, the public opinion is, um... It's your last chance! We have to make a statement. We have to stay put no matter what. Please, Marcus. We can't let them slaughter us without fighting back. Uh, stand ground. Wait, isn't it illegal to open fire on unarmed protesters in real life? Uh, charge, sacrifice, or run away? Charge. They gave me no choice. I will attack them, but I will not kill them. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, go, 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 come on! Yes! Uh... Disarm... Tackle, or dis disarm, disarm. Marcus is really good in a fight. He can fight, I'll give him that. <laughs> I'm using their own weapons against them. I love riot shields. Oh, 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 no, 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 push her. Oh, no, she got shot. 
Oh! It's okay, it's okay, she's fine, she's fine. All we want is to live in freedom, and you're repaying us with violence. Oh great, now I got shot. Uh, spare. I'm not. I'm not gonna shoot retreating people. I'm not gonna shoot. I'm not gonna shoot them if they're retreating. Okay, Jericho is admi is admiring me now. Oh no. Oh man. Yes. We won. The public opinion just went down, but they're still sympathetic. They're still sympathetic. Okay, that was a very intriguing episode, to be honest. Okay, guys, I'm going to end the video here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you when our next video uploads to the channel. And um, if you like this series, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until then, ever and until then, everyone, I will see you in the next video. Have a gr have a great rest of your day, and um, I will see you in the next video. Peace out, everyone.